What's going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 16 tutorial. It is Wednesday, so that means a brand new video for you guys. As you can see right now, I travel down to this beautiful location where I'm going to show you guys exactly, I hope the wind isn't too loud, and I'm going to show you guys how to, you know, motion track text and images onto objects real, real smooth. If you guys are excited for this tutorial, make sure to smash the like button down below and subscribe if you're new. And obviously, I will catch you guys right after the intro. Okay guys, now that we are in Vegas Pro 16, as you can see, I just filmed a clip of a bench that was, you know, nearby. We're going to make text appear on that white part of the bench. So it's going to be really, really simple and really time saving as well, because you could not do this uh, in Vegas Pro 15, but now you can in Vegas Pro 16 and you're going to save quite some time. Okay, so this is the clip as you can see. You see all those leaves, you know, moving because of the wind. So this is basically where we're going to position our text and our images. So we're going to start off go by going to the video effects tab and we're going to go to the top one, which is going to be the Beezer masking right here. Then we're going to go ahead and drag on the default one on top of our clip. This box appears and that is basically the box we need to go ahead and adjust so we can select only the area where we want the text to be appeared. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do it like that. We're going to make it a little bit thinner and then we're going to turn it just a little bit sideways to the right until it is actually fitting onto the actual screen. This is basically the position that Vegas is going to track it. So then if you have selected the area, go to mask one, and then you want to go ahead and click on tracking, and you want to go ahead and make sure that you're at the beginning of your video track. Then you want to go ahead and make sure that it is nice and adjust it, and then you want to just go ahead and you want to click on start. Now, as you can see at the bottom, it is automatically creating keyframes, and that's basically the whole tracking. Now, you guys are wondering like, okay, now I know how to track things, but how do I attach text and images, etc., onto it? So it's really, really simple. Now all the keyframes are made, we're gonna click on this X icon. You would go ahead and click on tools and you want to pick scripting and right here it would says add text to motion track but as you can see in my version it doesn't say add text to motion track and that is because a script was missing so there are basically two options one if you guys have that one add text to motion track if you click on there, you will be asked, you know, to type in the text and you basically want to position it on the actual, uh, as you can see, masked area. But if you don't have add text to motion track, I will leave a download link in the description so you can download this guy, the copy motion track to PIP. And that's basically what we need to do. So if you have that, you know, script, if you have that in your project, that's great. You can skip this entire step. But if you don't have that one, you can just follow along. So we're going to do this the other way. So we're going to click on media generators. We're going to pick the standard text. We're going to go ahead and drag that guy on top of our, as you can see, timeline. Then we're going to type in the text we want to have motion track, obviously. So I'm just going to type in motion track. Then what we're going to do is we're going to close this out and we're going to resize this guy quite a bit. So we're going to click on the track motion icon, the white one, and then we have this box. And if you go to the corners, you can actually resize this. So you can also go ahead and click on right here, source alpha, put this one to 3D source alpha. Then those four boxes are appearing. See If you adjust this one, you can put this one in sort of like a, like a 3D mode ish thing. And then you can actually adjust it. So it looks like it's stuck on the bench. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, as you can see, like that. And then what you also can do is you can go ahead and uncheck the bees you're masking for a second like this. So your entire screen becomes visible. So then you can just go ahead and adjust it and make it, an, as you can see, like that 3D. It, so it looks like it's on the bench like that. So now that we have done that, we can just go ahead and actually click on the generated media button. So we can just add in a little bit, like, for example, like shadow. So if you check the shadow, as you can see, it, like we have some shadow on the bench that looks really, really nice. So now that we've done that, we can adjust the shadow just a little bit, like, for example, like this. Boom, that looks great. So now what we need to do is we need to make sure that the text is going to follow this white part of the bench. Now that's where this option comes in. And then the last thing you need to do is go to video effects and you want to scroll down until you see picture in picture effect. Drag that only 
only on top of the text like that and then you just need to adjust it a little bit so now that we've done that the last thing you need to do in order to make that text go along is hold left control hold also the only the video and the text both at the same time click the tools scripting and then you want to pick copy motion track to pip and if i play it back as you can see now the text is actually following the bench it is that simple guys so that's how you do it with text and it works exactly the same with images so i'm going to delete this guy and then i'm going to drag in a banner of mine so it works exactly the same with images guys just go ahead and click on the track motion icon this white one and then you just want to click this one to source alpha 3d source alpha and then you want to just go ahead and adjust it you know until it looks like very realistic make it a little bit smaller like so and then you want to just keep positioning it until it looks very accurate and it looks like it's stuck on the bench like that turn it a little bit as you can see like that and then you just want to do the same go ahead and pick the uh, picture and picture effect under the video effects tab very simple then you want to drag it on there and you want to just resize it until it looks like it's stuck on there go ahead and hold left control select the picture select the video tools scripting copy motion track to PIP and if I play it back as you can see right now the banner is also stuck on the bench very very cool so that is it guys that's how to motion track text and images onto an object in Vegas Pro 16 using the automatic motion tracking feature and that is basically how to do it so guys that's it for this video thank you so much for the continued support i will catch you guys tomorrow with a brand new episode of reacting to subscriber videos obviously on thursday so if you guys like this video make sure to smash the like button down below subscribe if you're new and i will catch you guys obviously in a brand new video tomorrow <laughs>